Hey guys, um, first of all, I hope you all enjoyed starting something new, uh, something different last week about electrostatics. Uh, I got some feedback from some of you saying that uh, the FET simulation was easier. You kind of enjoyed that, so that's good to hear. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is I'm having a really low uh, turnout um, for the Q&A sessions on Fridays. This week it'll be on Thursday. Um, so a couple things. First of all, maybe you aren't showing up because you don't have any questions. Uh, if you do have questions and you're just not able to get into the WebEx meeting, uh, please send me an email to let me know that you've been trying. And I am going to try something a little different this week. Instead of scheduling a meeting, I'm going to just open a personal meeting room. And I'm hoping that that works a little bit better because a few people have mentioned that they're having a little bit of difficulty actually logging on to the meeting. So we'll kind of try it a little bit different way, see if it works. Um, but I really would appreciate if you guys did, you know, stop on the meeting, say hi. That way um, I can give you a few hints. If you talk to the people who have been uh, showing up to the Q&A, I give a few hints for that quiz that week. I will probably try to do um, another quiz is this week. Uh, just I feel like it's a little bit more exciting. It's not quite so uh, dull as the um, Google Forms. If it is not working for a number of people, then we'll switch back to Google Forms next week. Um, this week, you're gonna be working with a law called Coulomb's Law. And Coulomb's Law is the relationship between two charged particles and the force experienced between those two charged particles. So yesterday, actually we kind of flipped things up a little bit. Yesterday, you should have done a simulation where you were able to pick out two factors that affected the force between two charged objects. And hopefully you found that those factors were distance and amount of charge. So the separation distance between your two charged objects and then how much charge was on each object. So hopefully you came to that conclusion. If you did, fantastic. If not, you have the rest of the week to kind of practice. Um, it is a mathematical formula. However, you will not be required to actually plug anything into that formula. The only thing you're gonna be required to do is um, talk about what happens if a charge were to be doubled or what would happen if the separation distance were doubled. So if you think back to right before we started um, spring break, we actually discussed Newton's law of universal gravity and we did a very similar thing where we said, okay, if the mass is doubled, the force is gonna be doubled. So that's what I'm looking for you guys to be able to do this week. Now, if you have any questions about how to do that, I included a couple different examples on this particular um, notes uh, set of notes. So if you cannot figure it out, shoot me an email early in the week before you take the quiz or pop on the Q&A session on Thursday and you will have that quiz open and available to you from Thursday morning all the way through the end of the weekend. So just so you're aware. All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys get to the rest of the notes. Again, I would really like to see more people in the Q&A um, session on Thursday. If you need help logging on, please let me know, or if you've had any troubles, let me know. And hopefully you're having a good week. Get outside, it looks like a ton of good weather this week, so stay active so that way you can keep your mind healthy as well. All right, miss you guys, bye.